So Ritendra, you're standing for the Liberal Democrats in uh, South Basildon and East Thurrock. Um, so you've seen the exit poll. Were you surprised by that exit poll? Uh, well, no, not really. Um, I mean, the, the, the weak and wobbly message, I think, came across from the Conservatives more than the, more than the strong and stable. Um, and, and, and that was, frankly, the leadership that, that, that made the attention and drew the attention upon, it, upon herself. Um, so, no, not hugely uh, surprised. Um, I wasn't, I mean, perhaps, perhaps they would have been stronger uh, leaning towards the Labour side. So I think the Labour Party made, uh, made the connection. Um, not so much because of being the Labour Party, but because people understood where the weakness is well on the uh, Conservative side. And, um, they were sort of flipping and flopping about, and, uh, and, they, and, they, and they got caught up on it. And are you happy about it? You happy about? Well, no, not well. I mean, obviously, I mean, I, I, I would, I, I would be preferring uh, a much more uh, liberal turnout on the national level. Um, and I think Twickenham seat is, is one that we were looking at, that we're hoping to, uh, hoping to make an impact on. Uh, because I think you know we we have been providing leadership, we have been leading the discussion, particularly uh, not just on Brexit but also on our NHS on the dementia tax, on, uh, on even on mental health, and really bring the spotlight onto issues that do matter. And I think on that count, we have been winning the argument. And if it is a hung parliament, what do you think uh, will be the next step? Well, well, let's say, I mean, these are exit polls, polls rather, um, as, as we all know. Um, I mean, talking from the Liberal Democrat point of view, I think we all know uh, that, um, that, uh, that the line is that we're not really doing deals. Um, the exit polls tell us that the Conservative Party may be having a minority government with the Ulster Unionists, um, DUP, I believe. Um, so, we sh- I mean, it's still up in the air. It's too close to call. Um, I think there's more of a leading on the Labour side uh, nationally, but um, yeah, I don't know. I think you know we're looking. I think these, this kind of conversation will still be happening in another 12 year, 12 hours time. Okay, and just finally, so how's the campaign gone? What, what, what would be a success for you today? Right, uh, well, well, it's been tiring. Absolutely tiring. Uh, it's been fun. I mean, uh, it has been fun, but you've got to be into that sort of thing to find it fun. Um, and it's been interesting speaking to as many people as we possibly can. Um, they are quite, uh, who we say, explicit um, in, this, in this part of the country, which is, which is a very good thing. So, you know, good, good for everybody that came out to vote. And I think that's the thing we need to really push. Uh, you know, the, the turnout could have been a bit higher. Um, but, um, but I think, you know, exercising one's right to vote, um, given everything, is something that we need to be encouraging, regardless of what our opinions are.